Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and this tutorial in particular is actually going to be for beginners mainly, like people who are just starting out or they've never used iMovie previously. This is going to be a really good tutorial to watch for you guys. I'm going to tell you guys the basics and uh, just sort of like covering some of the basic questions I've had about iMovie that uh, I would normally think people would know but since there are a lot of people moving into Apple and they're getting into iMovie. Um, it's this is good. I think this is gonna be a good tutorial. So right off the bat, I'm gonna begin by opening up iMovie here, and I believe I already have it open here. But uh, what what I did was, if you have already a iMovie and it's already like like it looks a lot different than mine, if you go to the window and you go to revert to original layout, it'll bring you back to the most original layout, basically to where you should be at. And uh, that's where you'll get here. You might even, if you're just now opening iMovie for the first time, you won't even have any of these uh, side events and projects like I have because I've already been working with iMovie. But to begin, as all beginners, you're, um, you're all going to start by creating your first event, which is on, on this side here. Or you go to Create, and you're going to Create Movie as well. But first things off, first, we're going to right-click our right-hand side here. Just simple right-click. Or you can go to File and then you can go to a new movie which will create an event for you as well but for, we're just gonna go with this simple first you want to create an event basically a group or a community or whatever you might want to call it I call it maybe a folder of where you're gonna have all the projects let's say for this example we have our iMovie tutorials which is our event so I'm gonna create a new event and we're gonna name it it's just, I just call it the date, 5, 9, 14. And then wherever I record the day, we're going to put into this event. That way it's uh, a lot simpler for me to use. So for example, uh, yeah, like I already said, but um, I'm actually going to delete it. Move the event to trash. And let's just say that event was this event. But like you see, I just did a new event and then you can rename it here, whatever you want. So I just don't want this extra event in here. So I'm going to delete it for now, but okay, you created your new event, and then uh, let's say that this is my new event I just created, and within it, you won't have any projects, like you only have this bar, you won't have this bar down here. So what you want to do is create a project within that event. So having your event selected, go to create and a movie, and then now what you're going to do is choose a theme, if you, have, if you want any particular theme. I always go no theme, and I just create my own theme, basically custom everything. And then event, we want to put it under our iMovie or whatever your event is, name, whatever, and hit event. You want to put it under that event, and then this is the name of your project. And I'm going to name it More Tutorials. I think that's spelled that right. And then here we are, hit, and then here's your new project. And it'll open up this window here. Now, this is going to be how the layout was going to look for original layout, but and also I do recommend this layout of this is the new I new I movie, so it's going to be with this kind of layout with the, your main timeline down here, where you can like choose clips that you've imported and drag them into your timeline. This is the layout I recommend, especially if you're going to be moving on to Final Cut Pro. If you're going to you're saving up for Final Cut Pro and you really want to like get the basics of iMovie down first, that way you can move on to Final Cut and it'll be a lot easier transition. If you're going to do that, I recommend using this layout here um, because Final Cut Pro uses a very similar uh, layout. You have your events, you have your uh, actual footage up here, your main clip here, and then you'll have your huge timeline down here for Final Cut Pro. Now on the other hand, since uh, I already know how to use Final Cut Pro and everything I use it sometimes occasionally, but I, I still like iMovie because it's very basic and straight to the point. There's no many, not so many options. Like on the other hand, if you love like full detail editing, like <laughs> Final Cut Pro, then go right ahead and use this layout. For my example, I'm going to go to Window and I'm going to swap Project and Event, which is the old-fashioned, old-fashioned look for iMovie. Now yeah, I have my timeline up here and I have my events, my footage that I import in here. And when you import, you can either drag and drop. I'd recommend you drag and drop into your events. Or the safest way, basically what I would bas first should recommend is you go to Import, and when you go to import, you, you want to import it to your event, the main event, which is I, my event as I move tutorials. And then find your whatever clip you want to import, select it, and hit import selected. And it will take it straight down into your, your event that you put it in. And you may find it in the event section where it shows you how many items you've imported in there. Like audio clips, you got just the footage as well. So also... Um, you can create as many projects as you want. As you can see, I have two projects here already. And you can just keep doing that. Create new movie 
and then or a trailer um, movie and use your select your theme again you can have as many projects as you want and before I continue let's say you've you've edited made a change within iMovie or you made it with a change within the project now this is the project I created here I'm actually delete it because I already have one I don't need to here's my project here and I'm going to select it. I'm going to make a change here. I'm going to hit Command B, which is uh, basically splits a clip. And as you can see, I have the split here now. Now to save this, I'm actually going to quit iMovie. And uh, you're, if you're wondering, oh, you didn't save it or what happened to your clip, but just watch. I'm going to open up iMovie again, and you'll see that my change is still there, and it saves automatically. Now, if your iMovie crashed then that's a different story. But uh, here you already see the changes right here. So you don't need to worry about going to file, save, or something like that. It really saves automatically for you. It'll already do that for you. So here you, are. you guys learn how to create a project, the layout, the saving, the space bar is another thing that's very important. I'll have a link in the description for a playlist of all my tutorials in addition to uh, three plus tips that you should know about iMovie. I'll have that in the description. I mean three plus things that you should know about iMovie which covers uh, more basics uh, iMovie but some more advanced but if you hit the space bar that plays a clip that's very common instead of going over the clip here and then hit playing it's a lot easier to use the space R to your advantage let's say you're zooming over clip and you want to play a per certain part um, just hit the space bar same down here you just hit this just hit the space bar and it'll play it that's uh, very very good to know now uh, Another thing was exporting. I believe I've covered everything thus far. Exporting, we're gonna actually export this clip here, which is very, not that much. It's 38 seconds long, as you can see right here. And before I actually continue, I'm gonna change the layout of this a little bit more. I don't like him so zoomed in. So I'm gonna go to this option here. I'm gonna go clip size, very small. I like it and I like uh, 10 seconds. That way I can actually see more of my footage down there. And sometimes you want the shave, say show wave formats, but I don't like that. I only like shave, show wave formats within my project, which you can actually edit in here. You can remove that. The wave format it forms is basically the audio of your clip, and I'll have have more tutorials on that in the, my playlist, iMovie playlist. And you can adjust the, how the size of that clip. I like the smallest that I can see most of my project already so I'm gonna go share I always share this file you can YouTube sharing to YouTube works now it's as long as you get your password and your username correct you can share two of these additional I just I'd prefer file because it's just the most easiest for me at the moment and it says it's 1080p HD which it really isn't because my actual footage was recorded in 720p I just I forced it to go to 10 19 um, but 1080p HD because uh, I actually had an image in there that was I believe I used a clip that was a lot larger which m makes it recognize it as 1080p so I'm gonna export this as uh, let's just iMovie tour tour um, X port and I'm gonna put a one in front of it as well that way I can find the clip and I'm gonna hit next and then you can export it straight to your desktop here and this shouldn't take very long because then I'm going to show you guys what format mine comes out as. Sometimes it comes out as .mov, sometimes it comes out, well actually I've noticed most of the time now it comes out as .mp4. Um, and uh, most of you, some of you have asked me uh, why that doesn't import into iMovie. But then yes it does because I I always import I mean into iMovie using .mp4. And then this is up here, it tells you your progress bar. It says processing, transcoding, iMovie, one iMovie tutorial export .mp4 two minutes remaining basically so while it's doing that I'm gonna show you guys more about uh, you have your translation content library which I have more tutorials on like I said be sure you check out the link in the description and uh, we've got transitions titles maps and we'll iTunes sound effects garage band and uh, also if you have any questions at all you guys just leave a comment in this comment section below if there's something basic that I didn't cover I may even answer it and then I'll put it in the description make like a Q&A almost uh, type of thing and like frequently answered questions or frequently asked questions I think that's it FAQ yeah that's it <laughs> not frequently answered questions that wouldn't make that wouldn't make much sense would it but this is only got it's two minutes still and uh, I'm gonna import it straight into Google Chrome my channel and I'll show you guys how I do that and some of the basics of importing YouTube actually let me open up my YouTube and I'll show you guys here uh, please be sure to violate other copy or nope uploading instructions here. you are. I'll show you guys here um, Formatting tags upload audio video 
uh, where is it? Upload videos, support advanced encoding settings. I think it's this. Nope. I was trying to show you guys what formats are supported for YouTube. You wanna? What's that? That's fun. That's a new one. For advanced encoding support. YouTube file format. There we go. That MOV, MP, PEG. Uh, that's interesting. So, okay, I'm gonna check out real quick what file, because it says I don't see MP4 here. Select the for format you'd like to convert. You see, it actually tells you how to convert some of these too. So be sure to check that out. If you didn't know how I went, got to this page um, <clears throat> at your upload <clears throat> section, if you go to uploading instructions and then go to supported YouTube file formats, <clears throat> and then you can check this out and actually see more about this. But uh, my file just finished it. I showed right, top right hand corner that I finished um, exporting. So here's if I double click it, I can see that it's actually exported here. And there's our clip. It's very not that much. And it says that it's a .mp4, which doesn't say it's supported on YouTube. I'm going to go to get info. Maybe it'll tell me what format this really is. Here, yeah, kind MPEG for movie. So you see, that's the actual format. And uh, if you look here, this is that is actually supported with an iMovie. So I'm gonna go back to where did it go? There we go. Upload and uh, best way is sometimes I drag and drop, but within Google that Chrome that doesn't work. It only works on me for Firefox. So I named it uh, One iMovie. Open. And then from here, you just basically set up all your basics. It's um, advanced settings, like record date. That's, well, I set that all the time. Where you want to share it, additional items. I'm actually going to set this to pri no, private so this doesn't upload. And uh, you get a custom thumbnail in there, which is always very good. And then add a description of what the video is about. Simple beginner's tutorial. And then we also got the tags are very important as well. Be sure you stay on topic and nothing off topic. Otherwise, you can uh, get YouTube. Uh, well, basically, just stay on topic with your tags. <laughs> Other than that, that's base. That's the basics. You just hit done when it's done, and you can add additional videos to upload. Um, other than that, I'm actually gonna cancel this because I really don't want that to upload to YouTube. That's that would be just just a waste. <laughs> But here you are, that's my clip, and I hope I answered some of the basic questions regarding iMovie. You guys just let me know in the comment section below if I forgot something, and I hope everything works out fine. Thank you guys for watching, catch you guys next tutorial, and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of your love.